On January 13th, Google Antigravity released the new agent skills. In this video, we will understand what agent skills are, their structure, how they work, review the best practices Google recommends, and finish with a short demo. Let's dive into it. So, what is an agent skill? A skill is a folder containing a skill.md file with instructions that the agent can follow when working on specific tasks. But isn't that sound familiar? Well, the concept of agent skill is widely accepted and already implemented in Claude Code, Gemini, CLI, Codex, and more. That means that if you already configured skills, you can reuse them for anti-gravity as well. By the way, I forgot to introduce myself. I help developers turn AI into real workflows, so sub and like, it really helps me provide more value for you. But how do skills look in Google Antigravity? As we mentioned, each skill has a folder with at least a skill.md file. You can attach more files, scripts, examples, and whatever info you want the agent to load when using this skill. Inside the skill.md file, it accepts two parameters. The first one is name. This field is not required. If not configured, it will take the folder name as the skill name. And the second one, and the real critical one, is the description. A clear description of what the skill does and when to use it. Skills can be configured in two scopes. Workspace skills that are going to be stored in your workspace. And global skills, which are stored inside your root folder on your computer and will be available for every workspace on this computer. Google didn't mention it in their documentation, but usually the workspace skills override the global skills if you have the same skill name. But how does the agent know what to do? If you take one thing from this video, it is this section. By the way, this video is part of our upcoming Google Antigravity course, from beginner to pro in a day. The free limited time waitlist is inside our school community. Let's get back to the video. Let's say we've configured three skills. Each one has its own skill.md file. When you start a new conversation, the agent loads the name and description of each skill into its context. That's why writing clear descriptions and explicitly saying when to use each skill really matters. Now, when the agent processes a prompt you send, it scans the skills it has loaded and decides which ones are relevant. In this example, it might decide that two of the skills apply to the task. At that point, the agent loads the full skill.md file for those skills. It can also choose to load additional files from the skills folder if they're useful for the task. But understanding how skills work in Google Antigravity isn't enough. Using the best practices is what actually boosts your productivity. I'll add a link in the description. In that guide, I'll focus on two best practices we didn't cover in this video. First, keep skills focused. Each skill should do one thing well. Instead of a single do everything skill, create separate skills for distinct tasks. Second, include decision trees. For more complex skills, add a section that helps the agent choose the right approach based on the situation. Now, let's see it in action. Okay, so this is Google Antigravity, opened in my workspace, alldevneeds.com. I already created a skills folder under the dot .agent, and now I want to show you two ways to create a skill. First, I'm going to, to create new skill from my existing skill in Cloud Code. In Cloud Code, I have two skills, design and SEO optimization. What I can do here is to drag the whole skill folder into the new skills under agents. Let's do it. And now we have the design skill in the new location. As you can see in the design skill, we have a skill.md file with the two attributes it requires, name and description. And it also contains additional files if the agent will want to explore this specific skill. Another way to create a new skill is to go to skills, create a new folder. Let's call it web scraping. And now I can just create my new skill with all the files I want and put it inside this folder. After we configured our new skills, we want to restart our agent. In order to do so, we're going to this plus button and create a new conversation. Now we are sure that the skills are loaded with the description we provided. And what I usually do if I want the agent to use this specific skill, I mention it and I tag the skill.md file. For example, use the design skill And here I'm going to tag it. But usually you don't need to write everything yourself. You can use the wisdom of the crowd. For example, in this repository, there are a lot of skills that the community uploaded and shared via GitHub. So you can take it and paste it in your workspace. Skills are great, but the real boost comes from working with the right workflows. So make sure to watch how I debug with AI. Until we meet again, build workflows, not chaos.